After successfully putting hundreds of brick and mortar bookstores out of business, Amazon may step in and sign leases of their own. Now, in an earnings conference call, the chief executive officer of mall operator General Growth Properties said the e-commerce giant is planning to take up mall space. So joining us now to break it all down is Joan Salzman. She's the tech editor at The Wrap. So first of all, Joan, let's put this in context, okay? This is the CEO of a mall operator speculating about what Amazon plans to do and how much space they're planning to take up. But if this is the case, what is the deal, hypothetically, if Amazon really is trying to build an empire of online bookstores? Why would they even think about doing something like this? Well, this provides an opportunity for Amazon customers to experience Amazon a different way. After years of Amazon putting out of business those companies that have brick and mortar presence, this would allow Amazon customers the opportunity to sit down in a store, leaf through a book, and play with their gadgets, which could lead them to buy more. All right, so this is the interesting part. Amazon actually does have a physical bookstore, right? They opened that one up in Seattle, its hometown last year. They sell books at the same price as the online store, which is generally less than what other retailers sell for. So how can Amazon afford to have these discounted book prices across perhaps a whole plethora of hypothetical bookstores in its business model? And, and remember, I, I guess the whole point of this is that they use user metrics that they know because they know so much about us and our habits to put the right books at the right price in some of these at least hypothetical stores, right? Right, so one of the benefits that Amazon has right now is it's much more profitable than it ever has been. It just recently turned in its greatest profit ever, and it's posted three quarters of profit in a row. Unfortunately, investors haven't been pleased with that profitability. And so Amazon has to look in other directions, perhaps ones that pressure margins now that it has the profit, to get that investor confidence back. All right, so so l l let's say, for instance, Joan, that Amazon pursues this line of uh, of business here. How long do you think it would be before we actually do see bookstores popping up and and what's the outlook for for rival bookstores that are still in business on the bricks and mortar side of things i mean do we see them coming up v really soon in the next three to five years hypothetically it will take years for Amazon to roll out a significant brick and mortar presence. You have to find the real estate locations, you have to build them, you have to hire people. And with the expectation that Amazon's looking at 300 to 400, that's getting close to what uh, Barnes & Noble already has, meaning it would be significant. So it'll take a significant period of time. All right, so let's, let's kind, of, kind of cap this here. As an expert, do you actually see this happening? Will Amazon actually, in your opinion, go through and put out a chain, a massive chain of these bookstores? I would never doubt Amazon doing anything that seems unlikely. I mean, drone deliveries, no one would have thought of that, but it's something that they have in the works and are trying to achieve. I would never put Amazon beyond the possibility of doing something, no matter how unlikely or retroactive it seems. All right, Joan, how, how, just quickly, how do you, where do you see Amazon then in, in say three to five years? Well, I mean, what's their big line of endeavor? What are they doing? Amazon's still gonna be the biggest online retailer in the United States. There's no reason to believe that'll change. But the thing that people have been paying more attention to are its business-to-business -business operations like Amazon Web Services, their uh, server farms that provide backup for online companies like Netflix. Although it's not something that consumers see very often, it's where a giant part of their growth is coming from. Well, it seems like imagination, at least a lot of people's imaginations, are running wild right now with what Amazon could do in the future, Joan. Thank you so much for joining us, Joan Salzman, tech editor at The Wrap. And thanks for watching. I'm Dominic Chu. Have a great day. Hey YouTube fans, I'm Landon Downey from CNBC. Thanks so much for checking out our channel. Here you'll find videos packed with all the info that you need to be smarter about your finances. Be sure and subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me to see CNBC's original series, Young Money, Tech Bet, Kramer's Mad Money, and all the latest from CNBC.